today's Fab Mom on Two, January and February are prime time for preschool enrollment. If you're a parent or a toddler or a parent of a toddler, you might be in the middle of your search right now. So our Fab Mom, Jill Simonian, is here along with Garth Kemp. Our toddler. <laughs> our toddler. I came to be nurtured, but I realized Paul's over there, so I'll okay. leave you. <laughs> Go keep Paul company. We're going to talk about choosing the right preschool. Now, Jill, the word preschool makes many parents nervous with a lot of pressure, of course, to find the right one. Right. Preschool has really become that important. Uh, yes and no. This is the crazy thing. Mm. I, my uh, youngest daughter, it's a, she's in her last year of preschool, but I remember having such anxiety about preschool, and a lot of moms do because we want to find the right one, uh, particularly because I think that fear comes from the fact that kindergarten now is like first grade, where mm -hmm. kindergartners are expected to do certain things, recognize letters, rewrite, analytical rewrite. research, yes, exactly, trigonometry, <laughs> trigonometry, all those difficult things. But we do want to make sure that we are finding our kids a place that's going to set them up for success. Yeah. Uh, GreatSchools.org estimates there's 660 preschools in Los Angeles alone, so the choices are many. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. But now these days there are two specific types of preschools, play-based and academic. Now one is better than the other or, now that's just a statement I'm throwing out there yeah, yeah, because yeah. there's a question, how do you know, is it proven that one of those could be better, the academic or the play-based? Right, good question. The short answer is no. Not one has been proven to be better than the other when you compare play-based with mm -hmm. academic. And we have this great infographic here that's from LA Up and LAparent.com, and we're actually going to have this on our website as well for parents to refer to. But play-based uh, operates on the premise that, uh, like for instance, a lessons plan would be live animals, birds, rabbits, uh -huh. something are brought in, mm -hmm. and the children play, and they learn through play, and mm -hmm. everything is open-ended, and the lessons are driven by the children's interests, whereas academic is more teacher centered and focuses on whether kids can get the right or wrong answer. Answers. And okay. so I, I will say this, I've talked to a lot of child psychologists and every single one I've talked to says that children learn through play. In those tender ages between two and five, they do learn from play and they establish a lifelong love of learning through play. But not one is proven. Okay. Excuse me, proven to be better than the other. And probably based on the child. Too, it is right? based on the child. Got a little it is. Genius that's, it is. It's <laughs> true. Okay, something different. It's true. All right. Well, aside from licensing requirements, what else should first time parents consider when picking a preschool? Yes. That's important. Yes, it is. Top thing always license, license, license. California regulates preschool. Child care is very regulated in California. So always mm -hmm. make sure that whatever care facility you're pursuing, whether it's in a family, you know, a home, Setting a home or, or a child otherwise. care center, you make sure that that license is displayed. Uh, you also want to, this might sound a little zen and Zulu, but it's true, your <laughs> feelings. Go with your gut. This is a personal choice. You know your child. You know what you want for your child. Do you like the director? Do you like the way the teachers interact with the kids? Do you like the space? Mm -hmm. You also want to make sure, of course, that when you visit that place, everything is safe according to how you value safety. All right. Well, those are Go all... Go with your feelings, yeah. Yes, very, yeah. very good point. Yeah. And safety is the most important concern also for allergies. Mm -hmm. Allergies. Be, right? That's Yes, allergies. These days, allergies are of the utmost concern when it comes to, unfortunately, life or death situations in preschool. Mm -hmm. Make sure, ask your preschool about wh whether they've ever had to use an Epi EpiPen, what their sensitivity is for allergies for students who have allergies and also for students who don't have allergies. Okay. Now, your last tip for choosing a school is so practical. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's almost funny. Garth could get this one. Uh, we are going to, I promise, two, 2017, we are getting down to business here with practicality. Pick the preschool that is closest to you. Take everything into consideration, all those safety precautions and licensing and so forth. But at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the day, <laughs> toddlers don't like to get dressed. It is hard for a toddler to get out the door. You don't like to be running around if you have to go to work. Make sure that preschool is the closest proximity as possible, whether it's to your home or from your work because it's going to make your days and weeks and years much easier as a parent. And that's what we want. Give yourself a little yes. favor. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Jill. Sure. Now, Jill is going to link to more resources about choosing preschools, compliments of LA Parent Magazine on our website, cbsla.com. Thanks so much, Jill. Sure thing. Paul, back to you. Mm -hmm.